So you're not like one of those elitists who's like, you're ruining the meat by making it medium. I, I, I am like that if you go beyond medium. <laughs> I used to get well done. Medium well or well is Yeah, When disaster. I was a kid, I went to this uh, steakhouse as S4 is going to be found out here by Envy. <laughs> Excellent segue. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't my segue, I just interrupted myself. <laughs> anyway, back to my great story. Uh, as a kid, I used to go to the steakhouse and get a well-done burger. And every time, they would they would serve me a boot first. Like, literally just a boot on my plate. That was a thing at that restaurant. And for years, I was like, oh, that's so cool. I'm going to keep ordering this over and over. Little did I know, they're just mocking me. Because I'm ordering something that's supposed to taste like a boot. Yeah. Well, at least you found out eventually. This was only a couple years ago that I found out. That does not surprise me. <laughs> Anywho, NP should be getting this top rune as yep. S4 is the only one there for OG. As but they have Ogre there. Ogre. The Ogre himself. Auto okay, so to recap a bit on, on my thoughts pregame, um, you know, in the metagame in general, the first 15 minutes right now are maybe more important than they ever have been. Maybe excluding like TI4 late stages of the tournament where the games got very push oriented, but um, this game is even more important just because of the like. There's no, in my opinion, direct overlap in power. I feel like NP's lineup is stronger earlier in the game, and OG's is stronger later in the game. But the better NP play the early game, the longer time span they have until that transition kicks in. The key items to look out for are Brewmaster's Blink Dagger and Slark's Blink or Shadow Blade, his item of choice here. You really think he'll go... I haven't seen Blink on Slark in forever. It does happen occasionally. Uh, enjoy your lane, Notel. This is yeah, for real. actually almost Notel's impossible. used to this treatment, though. Actually, he... Might be in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna pounce into the trees. He'll eat his way out slowly but surely. He doesn't have a blade, then. so takes two tangos to get out of there. Yeah, he's gonna have a rough time. They could just sack him. You know, that's that's the typical OG fashion, right? Just win the other lanes. I think the choice here from NP to have both Io and Ogre down here needs to be changed around. I think they need to help AUI with one of them. They don't need to be three heroes here to put this much pressure, as long as OG are committing their Spirit Breaker up top. Oh boy, we're gonna have a dive here already. Jerax, Tango. No, well, that's an alternative way of doing no it. Tell in the meantime, he'll be left alone. They really want to focus on this Dazzle. That first blood, very important for them. He's he leveled to... Shadow Wave. He has Grave, actually. He just got level two. And now here's a TP support from Fly, who has the passive Greater Bash leveled up. Jerax gonna Grave up. Who's gonna get the first blood? That is the question. Looks like it's gonna be really close, actually. Oh, they get two kills, but first blood does go to NP, I believe. And now Ogre in a lot of trouble. The charge is up. Nice Ooh. bash from Fly. The RNG is in his favor. Slark, six seconds left on Pounce. That is... Uh, on Strike was not even close, but I think they're going to get this anyway. I am cannon charging. Never mind. That's that okay. they spawn pretty much immediately. So this is about as close to an early game disaster as it gets for NP in this lane. This should definitely not be happening. And it's sometimes you get greedy and you get carried away and you want to dive. And until Spirit Breaker shows up, it's an easy dive. I don't know if they couldn't see the TP, but Jerex juked them for so long in there yeah. that he actually managed to get level 2. And the moment they dove him, he was level 1 and they knew he had Shadow Wave. So it's a very easy kill if they catch him. But well, the timings were great. Not only that, so but when Fly came in, he was level 1 as well. And he uh, got level 2 in the Anna midst of is it. In in a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, Ignite's here. pretty good spell. Uh, he gets Ooh. breathed fired upon. I'm he surprised they didn't dive for that one when they dove for the other one. Well, are TP still on cooldown? Maybe they, they just want to calm down point. a little bit here. Yeah, they need to settle so, down a bit. This is a big problem because now they're giving space to the Slark. And because Slark got the two kills, he got both of them. He did not get first blood, I think. That one did go to SVG. Barely. Uh, but this is a bottle for No-Tail, minute three. And mm -hmm. what should have been a very difficult lane, he can actually sustain in now, because he can just bottle crow, maybe rotate for the four in the six minute rune if he wants to. And essentially with this item, he if he doesn't want to, he doesn't have to go for Aquila now. So he can transition into jungling level six with this bottle and just clear the woods bottle and uh, probably a Talon. Oh. S4 in the meantime, was left alone for, for a little bit versus AUI and they're basically the same level. That definitely favors the Brewmaster, who you were talking about needed to get that early Blink Dagger, and maybe he's not... Actually, he's farming really well, I was going to say. Yeah. Jesus, he's farmer for OG right now. Brew is one of those offlaners. There's like... 
there's a type of offlaner that is really weak when it's alone and really strong when it has plus one. And Brew is one of the ones that benefits so much from a bit of help. Um, it, it just makes such a world of difference for him here. And that's top lane. S4 has a great start. They're actually they're, they're oh, running okay. dual bottles, and it's because Invoker doesn't want one. Oh, the Shadow Wave is so ridiculous. The SVG is here. Heal up MSS. Jerax could grave himself. Here comes the save from Fly, the charge onto the Ogre. It's going to save the Dazzle's life. And will that be the end of it is the question. I don't know if NP can dive anymore. A uh, no-tail relatively low though, and of course not level 6 yet, so can't really... And with zero regen right now, the bottle is empty. It'll be harder for him to get full HP. Meanwhile, top lane, S4 and AUI gonna trade hits. What do you think of this lane in general if it's a 1v1, just based, like, on paper? I see like, versus the... Brew? Yeah. Uh, I think it might actually be slightly Brew favored, because you can... You can just play the economy of Haze versus Rage. Haze is 50 and Rage is 75, and it's a longer cooldown. And then, of course, the first hit of Lifestealer will always miss when your drunken brawler is ready, so... I think S4 is very happy with this lane matchup overall. I... I don't know. I, I think... Bottom as lane. A, just a complete isolated one, like 50-50, maybe 60-40 tops Ooh, for the no group. Tail pounces into the trees. Jerax is here. It's... Greeted by an Ignite pretty much right off the bat. Fly is here to help out as well. Jerax, of course, has a Shadow Wave. Gonna get stunned up for a second oh, and brought nice. down by the Mist Coil. 1437 bashed into the map. So he this is the recipe for success shortly. for the dive. Just don't bring Wisp. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. F the sustain. Fly in the meantime has charge available. We'll be fine one way or the other. And I hear a Sun Strike. It's Ooh, not nice gonna try. connect the SVG. Almost as if he saw that. I think he did. It probably got called by Envy mid. Oh, Envy's a very try-hard player, so he's gonna look <laughs> at Invoker the whole time, and if Invoker just like turns his head, it's like, such like bottom, such like bottom, such like bottom. Yeah, that that sounds like Envy for sure. And then where's his Basilius? SVG is like, just say What's it one time, on? dude, and then he turns around. You know. I'm surprised Envy doesn't have Basilius. He gets that on every single hero to try to disrupt the last inning. Not yeah. worth it on, uh, on Dragonite. So I guess that means Dragonite just isn't a hero. Then. I guess so. I mean, you're talking about Envy and Invoker, though. He's been playing that hero non-stop, so it's not surprising if he just feels like he's Invoker himself. You know, <laughs> you know, you just you go to bed, you dream that long wavy hair, blonde. Is that even blonde? It's like white hair. What would that be called? I guess his actual hair in the game is blonde right now. But if you look at the portrait at the top, yeah, you know that kind of hair. It's like super. What's the word? It's just white. Radiant white uh, supremacist bleached. hair. You know. Bleached hair, I like that. SVG is getting charged up into a sun strike and down he goes. Envy in the meantime can attempt to run away, but Rose is going to be one caught off guard. Bashed Clearly up the most the important kill of the game so far. TP support coming in, MSS. Oh, S4 nice doesn't have mana now. Fly, uh -oh. you're dead. It's a one for one. Envy is not done yet. Has the breathe fire. Stun up in four seconds. Blocking Ogre Magi, no big deal. Even Actually, if a nice S4 block from Invoker. Even if S4 or Ana would have died there, that's actually, that's worth dying for if they don't lose the tower. This is one of the things that I was expecting out of NP would happen is that they want to push towers really early with Dragonite. They want to take advantage of OG's lineup being as greedy as it is. Uh, Invoker and Slark as cores both need time. They are not ready yet for this. And well, If they do end up losing the tower anyway, this is a problem. You see OG are doing the charge, everything they can Dragonite, to hold it. About to lose Dragon form right now. Sunstrike oh, will miss completely miss. But Brewmaster pops the ult and they're gonna find the Abaddon pretty easily. Now Envy might be next on the list. SVG tethers up, doesn't have his ult, he's only level 3. Dragonite getting quite low, pops the wand. He's very tanky with the raindrop, but not tanky enough. His Io might be next on the list, but S4 back into regular form. Oh, walk away with two kills. And a denied tower, but NP does get the tower. Yeah, it's very important for NP that the tower at least falls. I don't think they're completely satisfied with that, but it's they have the right idea. I just think the execution was slightly lacking there, and they probably should have brought their their full team even. They could have rotated AUI in as well, and that tower would have been uncontestable for OG, I would say. Um, and at, he didn't even get towered, he didn't get any structure damage top with his lifestealer, so I think these like maybe extra 5 or 10 CS he got from being up there aren't worth it compared to securing that fight in the tower for his team. I think no -Tail really wants to go for this kill. He has Haste bottled, has raindrops, he's relatively tanky, has his ult as well. Abaddon will be accompanied by Eternal Envy on this Dragon Knight. Not able to get the stun off in time, Dark Pact was up. 
Oh yeah, he had Arcane Rune on the first Dragon form. Ah. That's really big. It shouldn't be ready yet. I don't think OG are expecting this. They don't have split. This tower's gone. They can't fight. He does have haste. He can go for the deny. Very important. There will be TP though from the Brewmaster. 55 seconds left on Primal Split. They're just going to try to get this deny. Envy not wanting that to come about and they're going to get the last hit does NP. And there's a stun onto Brewmaster. He has this clap available. SVG going to go gone on by no tail. He's going to pop his ult to try to mitigate as much damage as possible. S4 in the meantime getting soloed by AUI who has to turn his sights to no tail. Pounces up in 10 seconds, bottling up, haunting away. But right now it's just a tower and some damage exchange. Envy still has dragon form for about 10 more seconds or so. No tail. Wow. <laughs> no tail, seriously? That is some testicles on that man. <laughs> Be ballsy. Uh, this is Anna still good Good for NP, good play. They get the bottom tower, they're gonna defend mid with half. I think they could have lost less health on that. Now oh, it's fly. about minimizing casualties on the way out. Yeah, charges in on IO, another sun strike missed. AUI, surprise, he was in a creep the whole time. They're not really they're gonna run communicating away. these Ooh. sun strikes that well, it seems. Yeah, uh, it's just, if you get Abaddon on the other side, it's oh, well from the invoker. Yeah, they have Grave, he's fine. No tail. Ray. <laughs> he was actually faking animation there, surprisingly enough. Uh, Jerax. Jerax will yeah, die. TP. No, he can't get out in time. Ogre has a stun. Can do it, Jerax. I believe in you. No. Nope. Meanwhile, mid lane Great charge call, onto Dragonite. A 3v1. And here comes Io. Still only level 3, though. And the primal split comes about as well. Dragonite getting healed up, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The right clicks will suffice. Charge. They're going to continue on. Ogre Magic is very, very tanky, but you see how much the damage the Primal Split Fire Panda does, and down he goes. Jesus. Insane. Now S4, very healthy. Has 1500 gold, getting closer and closer to that inevitable Blink Dagger. I think NP have to be pretty worried right now. This early game is going way too well for OG. I, I, I've been complimenting NP on their tower pushes, and it's been good that they've got these two towers. Ideally, they would have liked to have a third at this point, and they definitely don't want to give away this many kills to that lineup. It's, as I was mentioning, a very greedy lineup by nature from OG, and the fact that these tower dives and this aggressive play from NP has resulted in this, like I was saying earlier, in a in big part just comes back to strength in numbers. I think OG has outnumbered them a lot because of life stealers. Um, in my opinion, overstay top. If he would have got the tower from being there that long, okay, but hasn't been able to. Pressure continues though. It's This is uh, the mark of a team that really understands what they need to do in the game. Right. A lot of other teams will be like, oh shit, we're behind 9-4, they're winning fights, maybe we should slow down a bit. Oh no, we keep going here. You need to play your advantage. They're gonna trade gonna towers, but it is a tier two tier for one a tier top. one, and they're fine with that. And he um, is. it's good enough. I mean, you're looking at the gold graph, and yeah, obviously like NP are up, guys. but let's go. actually OG is up. Jesus, they're up 1500. That's a very good weave. weave. Uh, NP needs to get out of here. They're gonna get half damage onto the tier three, and the question very is, nice. when Brewmaster, I mean, he's getting so close to this blink dagger, and if he had it, they probably would have gone for that fight. I assume. I has cooldown and splits. Long cooldown. 28 seconds. Well, he'll have yeah. that in time for the Blink Dagger either way. The next Dragon form will definitely be contested by OG, regardless of which tower it's on. I think even their top tier one they will want to fight for, so that they have access to their own Ancients and the big camp up there for... The, especially the big camp will be a nice little extra bit of income for the Invoker. Both that and the Ancient. Actually, he wants both. Speaking who of him, he's getting level 11 now. What's that? Not sure who ate the tome for NP, but Io is still severely under level oh, right now, level wow. four. Might Weave have again, over. no tail onto Rose. Oh, the Sun Strike will finally hit, but it's gonna be shared with the creep. So not a whole lot of damage done at the end of the day, and the Sun like just fight stacking for up on the Slark. The beautiful grave. Ops is ult. Here comes Primal Split. This is where they need to worry. Life Stealer getting stunned up. Look at the burst damage from the Shadow. Holy crap! Holy there's them. Oh, they're all woven. Keeping on with the charge. Weave on that life yeah, stealer. the weave is disgusting, but it is now. Has dissipated, it's been long enough. It's a two for nothing. Booger does find the kill on the Spirit Breaker. Anna, very, very deep. Has Sun Strike available to him. He's gonna get stunned up. Envy, Dragon Tail in two seconds, but there's nice counteractive Thunderclap. Sun Strike again is gonna whiff. Envy pops the Dragon for him. Trying to find Anna, but they might have to settle for the Brewmaster if they even can. Here comes the Pounce. Fight is somehow continuing. Envy in a 2v1. The Breathe Fire will miss onto Anna, who's going for the Rose Kill. He's gonna be able to get that 1v1. In the meantime, Envy. Getting healed up by the IO. Oh, Beautiful disarm. Dragon Knight is dead. 
Kyle, the last remaining member in this vicinity for SVG, attempting to run away. A couple more right clicks will do it. AUI a little bit too late to save him on in the meantime. TPing out to the right clicks, is it going to be enough? Wow. Damn, that Barely was so sexy stopped. from OG. Very, very nicely played fight. I am erect right now, for sure. Rose in the it meantime, getting charged up. We're not done yet. I, uh, right, no, we are. Done. He's not committing. That looked like it was going to... Actually, no tell. Hang on. Dead. Oh, do they have vision? Tell me they get this. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, is he gonna try to turn this? No tail? And the charge comes in into the Spirit Breaker ult. That's one kill. <laughs> Trying to dive onto No Tail. They actually punished that somehow. No Tail has Jeez. survived twice now with the Shadow Amulets. The first one was in the fight. Very nice play from him. Clutch. He was dropping very low. The reason I was calling that fight looking good for NP, they forced out the Grave at their tower. They got a hero very low, obviously, and they could follow through on that kill. But the Weave just. I think caught AUI by surprise as much as it did me. Like he looked like he was in fighting shape and then he just dropped to the brewmaster splits. All that minus armor just made the fire panda hit like a truck. And of course the shadow wave as well, doing a lot of damage once that weave has kicked in. I think three heroes of NP maybe were were woven there. Uh, and th yeah, they, they have to look after that. That's, it's a great now? dazzle game in that sense. Yeah, look at this. That was actually an amazing deafening blast. It saved a teammate, helped get a couple kills. Ana, pretty godlike. Spirit Breaker, he's gonna charge out and casually stun three on the way out. Ogre, was looking for a stun. He's get the ignite, fly, doesn't have TP for 43 seconds, but he's just wasting time. And he no doesn't chase. The tower. And they get a tier one as a result. Look at how low the CS values are in this game for a 15 minute game. Yeah, that's true. No one's even close to 100, and this is just the nature of the game where one team has this kind of early aggressive lineup. Oh, no tail. Debuting the Shadow Blade. Who does he go for? Everybody's relatively tanky. He'll find the 1437 on the Ogre Magi. Here comes the Sun Strike. It will Very connect. Nice Very fast kill. Primal Split coming to effect. Eternal Envy pops the Dragon from him. If he goes down, this is huge trouble for NP. He gets bashed up. Flying many times. Can be focusing on Life Stealer. Is Io level 6? No, he's still level 4. Oh my god. They can't do anything with this Io, unfortunately. Shadow Wave. Was being used to full effect, but infest into a creep. That's three kills here for OG. And they're just going to let this creep go down as No Tail knows that AUI is inside that creep. They're going to chase down this MSS. Can attempt to TP out. Actually, might get away. Nope. Charge just in time. Sunstrike not needed. Thunderclap will finish him off. In the meantime, AUI attempting to TP out. He'll be the lone survivor, I believe. That was four kills, was it not? Yeah, and Ana wasn't even there. He yeah, sunstruck, and then he Ball. got the bottom tier two tower. That's. OG just stomped them in the last five minutes, basically. The game was looking pretty even, and in these fights, they've just been pretty outplayed. And you're kind of harping on this Wisp not being level 6. I think it's a really big deal, and this should not be happening for NP. The Palm must have not been used by the Wisp. And in addition, the way that they laned Aggro Trilane and the way that he got sacrificed from it in the end just costs them way too much. They're going to lose Envy here. Just went down to right click. This is getting out of control. As well. OG yeah. is looking to take this 2-0. I mean, this is an NP push strat which has backfired to the highest degree. They got a couple towers, but the network lead was relatively even. Even OG having a slight lead, and they just have snowballed out of control now. And this tier two tower will be the next target for OG. Of course, this of course is a elimination match, so this is the lower bracket finals. Winner will play EG in a best of. Well, it depends. If OG wins, it's a best of five. If it's if NP somehow miraculously wins this game and then ends up winning game three, it'll be a best of three. Lads now onto the MSS Abaddon. Tier two towers taken out. Or sorry, it was only one tier two in the lane. Got mid lane for some reason, but it was just a kill. So AUI stuck with, uh, I shouldn't say stuck, but 18 minutes in, all he has is armlet right now. Not yeah. even Echo Saber. And this is where you could say he should have just farmed more, but you know, that's wrong. Like, the, the way he would have had more items is if the fights went better and if they fought more. Uh, he, he obviously could have had more CS than this. He could have had, like, if he was just farming, maybe like 150 or 140 and definitely had his Saber, but his team would have lost the fights even harder. He has to have a presence in this game with the way they need to play it. But the issue here is that NP have more or less missed their time. Oh, that's a very 14, dead 37. He might be dead. Pretty sure he's dead. Product Shield helped. Plunk! I'm alive a little bit longer, but S4 is very fast because he has his rune. It's not a haste rune, it's an S4 rune, after all. 
Actually, when Brew runs with haste, he really looks like someone who needs to take shit. You know? <laughs> that sounds like something I should be saying. So I know. Don't ruin your reputation now. Um, I'm, I just wanted to bait you to saying that's my joke. So you bait me. <laughs> you baited me. Oh. Jumps in. Did you just say a twitch emote? All right, nice. let's go. That's, oh god, Brewmaster's actually launched, but he gets oh, great at the grave. last second. Primal sprint to follow, I'm sure. There it goes. They've used a lot of resources trying to get down that Brewmaster, all for naught. Buyback by Ayo, who's now level six, by the way. 19 minutes in the game. Dragonite getting completely surrounded and bursted down. He looks so squishy against this OG team, and this is in all likelihood the beginning of the end for NP as AUI is getting right click down. No tail, kiting as much as he can. We'll live through the day. And three dead. Rose next on the list. GG's come out from Envy. OG take this in an extremely convincing game, too. Uh, there's not much more to say then. They just, they got really outplayed in this game. They they lost the stage of the game that their lineup was the strongest. Um, and I completely agree with this GG call. You know, it's early, it's minute 19, it's an elimination game, but realistically this game is insurmountable. The, the lead OG has.